MailChimp email marketing for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use MailChimp as your email marketing tool and how you can get started on the platform as the absolute beginner. So let's get into it. First off, we are on the MailChimp.com website and over here at the top right, I'm just going to click on sign up for free. Once you do that, you're going to enter your email. You're going to enter your username. Then you're going to add your password. After that, you are going to click on this to receive or not receive mailchimp updates then i'm going to just click on sign up now you're going to confirm your email from your google account and i'm just going to activate my account and then you are ready to start your journey here on mailchimp now once you're getting started you're going to start with the free version obviously and then you are going to set up your account, so you're going to add your phone number, your first name, then you're going to add your address, contacts, and then you're going to get finished. Now I'm going to add my personal details and I'll get back to you guys in one second. Now when you're entering your website URL, you can also choose to import your brand if you already have a website or you can skip this all together because this is a optional step. Uh, I would suggest that if you do have a website, you add it and you import your brand as well. That's going to help you create cohesive emails that fit in with the rest of your website aesthetic or the rest of your brand now once you have created your account here on mailchimp this is going to be your first dashboard now mailchimp is going to ask you to set up your account create a website add your contacts if you have any and then launch your website and your email marketing campaign but to shorten this process you're just going to take a look at the left toolbar you can see you have your create option and within this option you can start creating your email list your email campaigns below that you have your audience so here you're going to monitor all the people that you currently have on your mailing list after that you have your campaigns then you have your automations then you have a website builder as well so you can also use mailchimp to build your website below that you have your content studio your app integrations and then your search bar now we're just going to click on the top icon over here and we're going to start by creating our email um, marketing journey so let's take a look and you can see there are different types of emails that you can create first off there is a thank you email there is a what if email there is also a um, product activation email coupon code emails and all of these can be automated on mailchimp which is a very great function now first off we're just going to click on design email and now over here you're going to add the basics of your email you can also get started using email templates and this is going to reduce the amount of time it's going to take you to send emails and get started on mailchimp but you do have to apply for a premium version of mailchimp or separately buy certain templates to start sending what you're going to do is we're going to click on all campaigns we are going to create a campaign now first off you're going to add your recipients so the people that are on your email list and a good way to get more contact is by uh, adding a newsletter or adding any kind of discount code to your website and that will you know motivate people to sign up and give you their email and that's the basic purpose of any of those sign up forms they don't need any of the other things that they might say that they need they just want your email so they can later on send you different email campaigns now after that is your who section and First, I am going to just click on add recipients, import contacts, and then you can import any of your contacts that you already have. So if you have a copy paste option, you can do that. Or if you have a CSV file or a TXT file, you can upload that as well. So we're going to continue to upload and we're going to add like a few random email addresses and I'm going to continue to organize and you can add a status to your members so they can be subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed or cleaned and I'm going to continue to tag and then you can create more custom tags as well. I'm going to continue to match. I want to finalize this import and I'm going to complete my import. Now if I go back to my campaign creation to start off a campaign, I'm just going to click on campaigns over here at the left. And now the most useful features that I find here on MailChimp are their automation features. So let's say if 
someone browses your website and they put in a product in their cart and they don't actually purchase it then you can send a abandoned cart email and that can be automated and you won't have to actually send it it will be sent automatically once they leave your website you can also send a discount coupon to someone that also just you know clicks on a free products and adds them to their cart and still doesn't purchase them then you can also add a 10 percent or 20 percent discount coupon now for that we're just going to click on emails you can see these are a few regular emails that we have created we're going to view this email and see what this email really has so that email had a few issues but we're going to get started from scratch we're going to click on create we're going to click on email we're going to click on template emails we're going to click on get started and then you can choose from their emails that are something like this so they have empty blocks where you can add in your information or you can choose a themed email that has pictures and designs and i would suggest that you do go for a themed email instead of just going for a layout because a themed email is going to reduce your your work and it's going to give a very uh, appealing look to your email so let's just say we are doing a fundraiser and we're going to send an email for that fundraiser so let's just open this this looks pretty decent now some of these templates are only accessible if you're on a premium version of mailchimp so i'm just going to get started again and choose a free um, email template so you guys can follow with me as well so you can see some of these are free some of these are paid i think this event theme is pretty decent for a fundraiser so i'm going to open that now on the email editor here on MailChimp, you can see on the left you have your basic blocks in style that you can choose from. Now let's say we want to change this, we're going to add a different image. So we're going to replace it and then you can upload a file over here on MailChimp. I don't know if I have any images right now. Yeah, currently I don't have any images in my arsenal. We are just going to add the text and headers. So first off, if you click on any of these headers, they are going to show up on your right. So let's just say Alyssa Jane's fundraiser. Then on the bottom text over here, you're just going to add your little speech about how you're going to do something or whatever your email is regarding. So and then you're going to add date as well. So let's just say we're going to add the date for join our protest, add your date, and then you can also just add your little sign up button. After that, you have tested this. You can also change the style. So if you want to change the color, you can do that from here. If you want to change the header color, you can do that as well. It's very customizable and it totally depends on you and what you prefer. I would suggest playing around with the editor a bit more to see the full potential of your emails. Now, once you do that, you're going to enter the preview mode of your email. And this is what it's going to look like. Alyssa Jane's fundraiser, join our cause, stand up for climate change, join our protest on the 27th, and then get yourself registered. And this looks pretty decent, so I'm just going to click on save and exit. I'm going to name this the climate change template. I'm going to save this. And you can see I have this template created. I can send it whenever, and I can just click on create campaign. So once I have a few templates, I can start marketing my campaigns as time goes or as needed. I'm going to click on campaign and then I can send it to all of my subscribe contacts. And then I'm going to add who this is from. So I'm going to add this is from Alyssa Jane. And then you can select the email you want to send your little subscription from. You can add a subject as well. And now we can send our little campaign. We're going to click on send now. And just to show you guys what it's going to look like, I'm going to open up my inbox to show you guys the email that I just sent myself using MailChimp now on my Gmail account. So you can see you also get a campaign link. So you, over here, you can view just a general look of your email. I'm going to refresh my inbox. And now the best part is the automation. So if you're working in sales and marketing, you're going to find MailChimp a lot more helpful because you can create just a couple of thank you templates, a few abandoned cart templates, a few uh, coupon templates, and you can automate that journey for your client, where your customers are going to get 
the emails without you having to lift a finger and once you're set up on MailChimp it's very easy to navigate through the platform. Now although I do find MailChimp to be a very useful tool the only limit that MailChimp really has is that you can only send to over 2,000 contacts per month so if you have an email list larger than that you will definitely have to opt for any of their essentials or basic pricing plan where you're going to get more people and where you're going to be able to send more emails per person as well and with the free version you can only send 10,000 emails but that is pretty much enough if you're only sending to 2,000 people generally MailChimp is a great tool for email marketing and I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to send your emails on MailChimp and I will catch you guys in the next video